Welcome everyone to another presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. It's the white team taking on the black team. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. And guys, what do you think we'll be seeing from money in this one? You know what I love about this guy? I mean, he hates coming out of the game. He wants to play every minute of every game. And I think he's got the stamina to do it sometimes. And, you know, he's also a tough, tough finisher, Steve. There's very little a defender can do if he gets to within arm's length of the basket. Durant. The shot is off. The black team going the other way with it. Two shots. And the first one drops. He's perfect from the line this time. That's a familiar sight. He hardly ever wastes his chances at the line. Cashes in regularly. We'll go to Doris Burke, who spoke with head coach Monty Williams. For them to be successful, Kevin, he said they have to act like, and I quote, a swarm of angry bees every time the ball gets in the post. If they don't collapse in their post threats, he knows they're in for a long game. Guys? Thanks again, Doris. Rose goes in. And the foul called on ABC. That is his first foul of the game. And the black team with possession here. Right side, Gordon. The pass to D. Good on the triple. D's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Malone right side. One on one here. D passes to Money. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. You know, he wants to tinker a little bit, and he's taking the time to do so right here. Yeah, I think you're right. He just didn't like some of the things he saw out there, a bit uncomfortable, and wanted to talk it over. Jefferson with it. Rose attacking. And Malone backing in. And Ashik with the block. But they recover it. Right side Jefferson. Stolen by Gordon. Here's D. Rose with the block. They retain possession. Good. And the white team with possession. It's a five-point game. Astro Henderson. Back to Rose. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one at the line is good. Rose hits them both. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Oh! The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Oh, man, he goes old school on us with the finger roll. Left side Rose. Shot from the low block. And it's Durant, that time on the assist by Rose. Durant's got his first two points. And the black team with possession here. Three-point lead. Down low. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. He's taking it to the rack with power right there. And hammering down with the two-handed slam. Well, they already had him staggered, and now all of a sudden they're throwing some haymakers. Boy, 
I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Yes, the money. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Everything going according to the script for them offensively so far. Yeah, the shots have been falling, that's for sure. The offense really in a good groove. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Boy, that was impressive. Major height disadvantage, but he still got the shot up over his man. Well, he's got the poise to handle any matchup, and he's not easily intimidated. You can see that there. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with him. Rose with the ball. And it's Gordon picking him up. Stepped in the line, out of bounds there, and that will cost them the possession. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Passes to Money. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. He's very savvy in traffic. When he gets inside, has a kind of an uncanny way of shielding himself from contact and finding a way to finish at the rim. And another thing about his game that's really noticeable is how well he handles defensive pressure when he's getting his shot off. He's a very composed shooter. To the paint. Here's Durant. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, I think that could really set things up well the rest of the game. Pound the ball inside and let, let your perimeter players play off your bigs. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. <laughs> Here comes Gordon. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And the call will go against Houdini. That'll be his second foul of the game. Already his second foul. He's in danger of getting into very serious foul trouble early in this game. That's good. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Love it. Old school. Just physical play in the paint. Dominate. He's got so much junk in his trunk. He'll find a way to hurt you. There's the pass to Raymond. Goes up on the wing. A three. Got 118 left to play in the first quarter. D. The basket drops and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. One shot. You can see that their game plan is to work it inside, and that's been very successful so far. And they've made the most of their opportunities inside. And that's something that they shouldn't get away from, Kevin. When you're having success inside, if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. <laughs> Here's Malone, and that's a foul called on Money. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, close, but I didn't think he got on balance quickly enough. And it's hard to draw charges as quick as players are at this level. That's not an easy bit of work there. He's done a terrific job rebounding here so far, allowing no second-chance points. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Hammers the alley-oop through. 
the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. No, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular, never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Oh. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. Here's Rose. He has seven. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Shoots from the baseline. Here's Jefferson. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. And the crowd immediately letting the officials have it after that whistle. A very unpopular call there. Oshik with the bucket. Oshik's got his second bucket of the game to go. And here's Rose. Malone, left side. Working inside. Latrey. And it's Rose, this time the assist by Malone. And that's now 10 points for Rose. Both teams off fire right from the opening tip. Pedal to the throttle. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The black team, they lead by four. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. What stands out for you guys from the black team in this one? They've done a nice job on the offensive boards here, guys, and I think that was the difference in that first quarter, really pounding the offensive glass. Well, they set the tone early with their mindset, their tenacity, and their hustle. I mean, that's the way they've come out, and it's um, served them well. Malone is out there with Al Jefferson, and it's ABC, then it's Henderson, and it's Rose in at the point. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Well, Kevin, we all know that Lance Stevenson is fearless, and as far as he's concerned, that's a product of his Brooklyn upbringing. He said players there have a, quote, feeling that nobody can stop them on the floor. Former teammate Paul George said of it, that's Lance. He's a New York player. They play with that kind of confidence. Guys? Thanks, Doris. That confidence has certainly served him well. Now here's Rose. Ten points for him. He dishes it to Jefferson. Leaps for it. Puts it up from 15. The shot is off. The black team going the other way with it. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. It's Tim. Rain man passes to Asha. Punches it down with pop. Rubs it in. It looks like a little deeper with the hanging finish. Well, they're not backing off at all, are they? And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Rain Man. That's his first foul. Rose goes in. Offside Rose. Active hands prevented an easy bucket that time. Here's Gary. Throws down the breakaway jam. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. That's purely a hustle play there. Getting to the offensive glass for the tip in, well done. And that's, you know, a quality you see any strong offensive rebounder possess. Uh, and we saw it right there. Yeah, it's the anticipation more than anything. It's understanding where that ball is going before anybody else on the floor does. To the middle. Inside. Here's Rain Man. Missed inside. An excellent interior defense there. Good rotation. No doubt about it, Steve. He's a real presence inside. Takes up a lot of space. Here's Rain Man. Seven points in the game. And good on the basket. Book it. A large part of what they've been able to do here is centered around his offense.
and we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. And the call will be against D. That'll be his second foul of the game. Black team on defense. Malone outside. A three ball. Omer Ashik with the rebound. Ashik's got five rebounds tonight. It's been a great day for them on the boards, Clark. That's definitely been a major factor in building this big lead. And you know, from a number standpoint, the advantage might not be that large, but they have been manhandling them inside. Now that's finishing your work right there. Powerful two-hand, Jim. You're right. Uh, if he's got a few more of those in him, uh, this lead will really start shrinking. Here's Gary, and he hits the jumper for two. Money's got ten points in the quarter. And as hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan should be simple. Get him the ball and get out of the way. And the call will be against D. That's his third foul of the game. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. It's Durant with the drive. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. His shooting has been so good today. He may have to take it upon himself to try to get his club out of this hole. D. Can't get it to go. Rose kicks to Durant. Cannot hit. The black team going the other way with it. Pass Durant. Can't cash in from close range. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. Rose, no good. He lobs it up. There, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Ooh, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. That's foul number two on him. It might not warrant sitting him entirely, but uh, you know, another one before halftime, they could they could be in some trouble. Well, you know, starting last season, the NBA added a 3D camera system in every arena to track movements on the court. And some of the shots that those cameras get are remarkable. They can measure just about anything you can think of, and it's opening up a lot of different ways of measuring and dissecting the game. Another example of the overreaching arts of analytics. Durant attacking. Comes up empty down low. Terrific defense at the rim. They got right in his path. Two shots. You know, that's part of what great defenders do. They get not only in your path, but in your head a little bit, too. And going back to the new camera system, it seems it won't be long before every team has one. Really a revolution as far as evaluating the game. Well, we are in an information age, there's no question. Stats, numbers, camera angles. Our teams are really trying everything to, to get an edge over their competition. And it makes perfect sense. The big question is, how do you use that information? I think that's what teams are trying to figure out. Already he's looking at his third foul. I think the coach will probably look to sit him down until the third quarter. Free throw missing. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. And so it's Black with it. It's a 13-point game. Rose with the double team. Past Durango. Misses the three. Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. It's not a good look at the hoop. They've got to do a better job offensively creating some space. 
Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> yeah, and it's a strategy that has served them well in this opening half, Clark. Took the opportunity when he saw it. And that's now 27 points for Money. And so we conclude the first half. The black team, they lead by 14. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. And as we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close, guys. And we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third quarter started. What a game we're seeing from Money. Well, he shot his share of free throws, that's for sure. I mean, he got to the line, drew contact, and you love getting to the free throw line. Easy points if you can get them. Steve, I think they may have to rotate the defensive assignment on him from now on just to avoid foul trouble on any one player. I mean, he's drawing a lot of fouls on guys. Omer Ashik is out there with Money. Then there's Gordon. Then it's D, and it's Rain Man in at the three. That's the five to begin the second half for Monty Williams. Three straight misses here to start the second half. Boy, it's been a tough go in terms of fouls for him. I mean, my goodness, he can't stay out of the way of fouls. That's good from Durant. And so Durant nails them both. Well, as far as the league's big men go, He's one of the very best at the foul line. And the pass to Rain. To the inside. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second call. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. And it's Rose penetrating. This is to Durant. And so out of bounds it goes. They'll keep possession. And right now, here's the white team. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. Rose. Count it. The defender is called for the block, and this could turn into a three-point play. Boy, he is just a scoring machine. He makes it look so easy. Gordon, the pass to Money. Here's Rain Man. He's covered by Malone. And that one's good. 13 points for Rain Man. And he's someone the defense has to keep track of at all times because, you know, even when he doesn't have the ball, he moves so well without it, he's constantly a threat to catch and shoot. And something else you can't forget about is his shot blocking, Steve. I mean, he's an intimidator down low. D passes Durain. Got a piece of it. And that one ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. It's Durant on the wing. Kicks it out to Malone. Wide open. And he hits the jump shot. Malone's got his second basket of the game. And they've made three of their first four shots here to start this half. Money passes to Rain. Nice D from Durant. I like the work there, contesting that shot that looked like it was going to be easy, but they forced the miss. You know what? He got it in close, but couldn't finish in traffic. D. He's covered by Rose. That's good. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on a follow just like he got there. Right side, Durant. No good. The black team going the other way with it. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Here's Gary. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. Purely from a size standpoint, that is a mismatch that's going to be hard to overcome defensively. The white team making a switch here. Stevenson's checked in. 
Rose goes in. And an air ball on that one. Way off. Gordon, the pass to D. With the lead pass. Everything's falling now. This lead continues to increase. Yeah, it's just way too hard to keep up with a scoring pace like this. I mean, and that's why the defense is having a tough time. Henderson dishes to Rose. Stevenson kicks to Rose to stop the run. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. What a game we've seen here for Rose. He has 14 points and seven assists. I'll tell you what, he's made his mark on this game in so many ways, guys. Yeah, just on the strength of his defense alone, he would have stood out, but his offense has been outstanding as well. D passes Durant. And that one is hammered home. What a floor leader he's been at the offensive end. You know, he's done a terrific job of moving the ball around, sharing it, dispersing it, and running the show. Rose dishes to Stevenson. Back to Rose. Uh, here's Malone. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. They have got to put a body on him because otherwise, with his agility and athleticism, they're not going to be able to contain him on the offensive line. And Stevenson grabs the board. The alley-oop is such a fun play to watch, but when it doesn't convert, it's uh, probably the wrong choice. I guess that makes that one a terrible choice. Oh! And they're on the break. Shot left block. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. At the line Obvious two. foul. Yeah, he took a hit right there and earned those free throws. He hits the second from the line. 129 left to play in the third. Rose with the ball. 16 points for him. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Rose has got eight points here in this quarter. D passes to Money. Here's Rain Man. He's guarded by Stevenson. Pass to D. Hits it from three-point range. D's got six. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. Yeah, they have the defense on the run right now because every pass seems to have a purpose. They're getting great movement, great spacing, and they're really lining them up defensively. Rose. And he's knocked off course by the D. The foul call. He'll shoot free throw. That one's on Eric Gordon. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. D passes to Money. Here's Rain Man. He's covered by Malone. Passes it to D. Here's Rain Man. Elbow shot is on the way. That's good on the jump shot. Rain Man's got 21. This switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. There's Rose with the three. Rose with another miss. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. There's a glaring discrepancy between these teams in that area of the game.